Lesser Prosper is one of the returning imports in the PBA Commissioner's Cup. Let's get to know more about the Rosso Dominico born player and his quest to bring Terra Firmative to the playoffs. Lester Prosper is not short of basketball experience, having played overseas basketball since 2011. Prosper was also the first player in Indonesian basketball history to be naturalized and did his share of helping Indonesia when they bagged the gold medal in the 31st Southeast Asian Games. Prosper shared the hardships he went through to get to where he is right now. It was tough. It was tough. Like, as you come out of college, you got to understand that unless you have a top agent or you're part of, um, you know, some kind of top agency firm or whatever, you know, you're not going to just jump from college to EuroLeague. It's not going to happen that way. And even sometimes the, the players that are part of top agencies, they don't just jump from um, college to EuroLeague. They don't. It just does not work like that all the time. So you have to, you know, I, I started out at the lowest of the lowest and I worked my way up. And then once you're overseas, when you find a place that treats you, you know, the way you want to be treated and a place that you love, you know, and a place that you feel comfortable, don't look for something else. Stay there and, and make it your home, you know. And that's what I've done with Philippines and Indonesia because I, obviously I keep coming back here and I love it here. I keep going back to Indo and I love it there. So, you know, that's what I've done. Prosper brings a wealth of basketball knowledge that can aid terra firma in its goal of going back to the playoffs it last tasted in the 2016 PBA Governor's Cup. He is aware what Philippine basketball and being an import in the PBA is all about. He also pointed out the differences between the Jeep team he suited up for in 2019 with the one now. Um, 2019 was more experienced. That's, I could definitely tell you that. They were more experienced, but this team, younger and bigger. You know, and they just need that, they just need that person to inject confidence into them. And that's what I'm here for. The Philippines is super physical, you know. Um, on top of that, you're the only import, so you don't have, you know, you can't look, you don't have a counterpart, so you can't look over to your teammate. When things are going bad, you have to dig in deep and bring that beast out of you individually, you know. And, you know, so, it's, and plus it's physical and you have a team to carry, just like me, you know. I have one of the hardest jobs in the Philippines, in the PBA, you know, dealing with what I'm dealing right now, you know, so. And, and I'm very, very confident about what we're going to do, you know, and what needs to be accomplished also with helping with development of basketball in the Philippines, you know. The State University of New York College at Old Westbury alumnus is not intimidated by the NBA pedigree that some of his counterparts have this conference. Good thing about where I live, I live in Miami. So all the guys come down to Miami and train and we're always in the same vicinity. We're always in the same court. So like the videos that you said that you saw online, you know, some of those videos have Thomas Robinson in them. Some of those videos have a Quincy Miller in them, you know, and these are the guys that I, I play against all the time. So, you know, Thomas Robinson just came down this summer, so I haven't, I haven't played against him too much, but I played against him like three times. Good guy, played with him and played on the same team, um, played against him on a different team. So such a good guy, you know, it should be good. It's always good to go against the best athletes in the world, you know, so I think I'm one of the best athletes in the world. So therefore matching up against those guys was just another day in the park for me. So I loved it. Having played for Terra Firma in San Miguel in 2019, Prosper admitted the reason why he loves playing basketball in the Philippines with hopes of bringing the fans back to the arenas. Oh, the fans, I love it. You know, the fans, the people, you know, I love it here. You know, this is, um, I actually made this my home. This is like my second home, you know, away from home. So I love it here, man, you know, time. And we have to entertain the fans and, and what, these, what these people are paying so much money for the tickets. You know, we got to put on a show. And that's what, that's what um, imports are there for, put on a show, you know, entertainment. This is what the business is about, you know. So we need to bring back PBA basketball, you know. We need to bring it back, bring it back because, um, because of the pandemic, it's been falling off a little bit, you know, so now it's time.